Well, OPEC might want to get in touch with those individuals, and perhaps they may just have the solution to the problems regarding oil in the country. Let's move on a little bit now. A village in the Kerio Valley in Marquette was on the spotlight as the world attention was this February on the war against female genital mutilation. KTN's Mercy Kandia visited Tot Village and filed the following report. Tot village sits quietly along the Kerio Valley in Marquette area. The spotlight was here in the month of February as Tot hosted the International Day on the Fight Against Female Genital Mutilation. Behind the celebration, though, is a challenged fight and the effect of it seen mostly at the health centers within the villages. Chesangoch Mission Hospital, that story known too well by mothers during childbirth. During delivery, you need a room for expansion. So all the tissues around it should be elastic enough to allow that space. What transpires that during that delivery, when this car, in case it has a tear upwards, what transpires that this thing, the scar itself, is very hard to to switch up. Ninety percent of uh, our clients have been done FGM. Staggering numbers. And as the cart is practiced within the valley, those that do not go well, if lucky, will be rushed to the hospitals. There is one incident which we were called. We were told that there is a girl who is bleeding and she's coming to the hospital. But we never received that girl. So we don't know whether the girl succumbed on the way and she did not arrive here. But it's a very close-knit society that believes in the practice despite the ongoing fight. The past three months, three girls being circumcised in El Marquette County. Lakini wakati atakapo ameshawa akishaba tamemba wakati wakwenda kujipungua lasima atakato. We get this village baraza ongoing. The majority are men. The anti-FGM board is given a few minutes to increase awareness on the fight. What reveals a poor understanding of an old age practice. And talk to married men to accept and marry the, the ladies who have not undergone this right. It's discussions that are not as popular. The numbers indicate that so far over 9.3 million girls countrywide have undergone FGM. These young men are going to join me and that they will stand up and say they can marry a woman who has not gone through the processes. Am I with you, Mayu? Niko na nini? Mwe bibi wafe wakienda kupata watoto? I hope kutoka leo jamii ya Marakwet East Community watajua thidi ya vita thidi ya ukeketaji sio ya mtu kibinafsi ni mimi mmoja ya mtoto yao amekuja mbele kuwaeleza mathara ya ukeketaji na kuwaeleza ukweli waweze kuacha The practice countrywide has dropped from 27% in 2009 to 21% in 2014 that reduction is the hope of young girls here that their path ahead will be better. Of the 17 counties marked as FGM hotspots, El Geomaraquet County tops that list and the government says in a bid to end this outdated advice, there's a need for collective measures to ensure that the girl child is empowered in the community. Marcy Kandia, KTN News, El Geomaraquet County.